Hey, any nigga getting money, I encourage you. If I ain't feeling your shit, I ain't sharing it. If you feel the shoe fit, nigga, wear it. And you boys been hey, but I ain't worried. Bring, bring straight to you like DoorDash. And I'm still in the hood like a doorman. They say it's gonna drip, check your forecast. I've been hot, I lay with a torch. So, but, um, you know, you work with a lot of artists, man, and, um, You've been a DJ for a lot of people, like you said. We talked about uh, Big King, and um, but you and uh, Three had a real special relationship. So um, tell us about your relationship with Three, man, and how did it uh, start and begin? And you know what I'm saying, the tears demise. Man, I <sighs> man, I, I met I met bro. I don't I don't know if it was really on like an accident, but. You know, we Pat and, and Los and Pookie them, they was having this sh this shit in Nico's man, maybe in about that fourteen ish type shit. And um it was on Friday nights and we had Big Chief come in the summertime the day before my birthday party. My birthday party was at Nico's too. But and but my shit was on Saturday. I had Lil Ronnie. I had uh, the niggas, the, the the GS boys. I had goddamn um, um, fuck you, bitch. You can suck my man. I had like at that time, yeah. you know, all these niggas had these these hits in the clubs, so the boogie club. The boogie all these, I had these niggas coming right and performing at my birthday party, and. Um, but it was the day before Big Chief came for the Friday shit, for the frequent Friday or some shit they used to have, man. But um, you know, I was DJing that shit. Chief was in the truck, in the van, and you know, there was niggas in the back of the van. And one of my homeboys, named Young Thug, and he was he was with Chief. You know, what I'm saying Young Thug, and you know he he uh part he was part of DMV, man, and DMV, it's KT and and. Uh, DMV shot, uh, Chevy, all I mean it was a, the boogie through the door, niggas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, it, you know what I'm saying? It was, but you know, thugging like man, look, say, say, folks, I got this, I got this nigga in the van, bro. This nigga hard type shit. I'm like what? Let me hear him. The last nigga, it's three. And you let me hear the nigga song. You hear a couple of them hoes. I'm like, what's up, bro? Nigga, um. Let me hear a couple of those songs. I said, man, this nigga go hard, right? Mind you, my birthday party is the next day. Yeah. I said, bro, man, I don't know who you is, dog, but I mean, I got a birthday party tomorrow. I got these niggas coming. You know, can you come? He's like, man, you got to holler at my manager. I just got a manager. I said, man, who is your manager? He said, his name is Rainwater. So I started laughing because, man, me and Rainwater, we been through some shit. You know what I'm saying? Together. Like, that's my dude. <laughs> I mean, I'm just gonna be honest. That's my nigga. Like, yeah. Rainwater, yeah. Four, three, four, any of them. Yeah. If it wasn't for, if it wasn't for him, we'll talk about that later. But look, this, <laughs> we talk about three. We talk about four right now. So he said, "You gotta talk to Rainwater." I'm like, "All right, cool. That shit. That's that's what's up. I do that." Yeah. Call Rainwater. Rainwater, like, man, I do it for five, man. I was like, man. I got three, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He, he took my three, and um, they came down here. Everybody else performed. Everybody said they performed. And these niggas come late. I'm like, this nigga late in the bitch. Don't nobody know this nigga. Like, yeah. who the fuck is this nigga right now? Bro, you know how, you know how, because no, when, when, a, when a crowd don't know an artist, yeah. and they on the floor, yeah. and the artists get up there, people kind of like, Move, move away yeah. and go get some drink or yeah. something. I had to, I had to, I had a lit. Rainwater told me to play what's happening. I'm like, what's happening? Like Webby. I said, play, you know, how you be doing that how, that, how you be doing that Webby shit, TV, do that shit. So I did it. I put in with what's happening, what's happening, right? So I played, you know, I did it. And then he said, now play the songs he gave me for Mo3. Yeah. And the first one, had the same beat. Yeah. As the intro. Yeah. Yeah. So the people in the crowd was already on there. Yeah. But when he got up there and started rapping, 
Nobody fucking moves, bro. They sitting there like, what? And then like, the phone going crazy. Like, nigga, who in the fuck is this? Like, he did probably about four or five songs. Bro, we had never heard Hold Your Tongue, ever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, we had never heard that. We didn't know. But from that day on, he didn't stop coming here. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and he he appreciated the fact that I paid him. Yeah, that first time because when nobody else paying him. I don't know what was going on before yeah. then. You know what I'm saying? I didn't I didn't really know the other niggas he was with. I just know when he came there that day. I mean and, and he just kept getting bigger and bigger and people more and more people start, you know, fucking with him and that made him fuck with me more. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and and I appreciate what he did for me. His the way he showed how he appreciated me was way different from anybody else. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He didn't, you know, he he would call, or I could call him, or I could inbox him, or I could DM him. Like, it wasn't no, you know, leaving me on scene. Or, yeah. You know, or, you know, he asked if I needed shit. You know, people, like, put, even put me in the song. You know what I'm saying? Him, yeah. him put me in the song was way different than Buddy put me in the song or anybody else who's put me in because you know he really didn't have to yeah. you know like no matter what whatever he was finna say was going to be gold no matter no matter what what he did when he put my name in the song just made people realize that I wasn't a capper. Like, I really fuck with dude. Yeah. Like, he, not, and not not more so from East Texas, because East Texas already knew. Yeah. But more, I'm from Decatur, Illinois. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Mo3 had already reached already up there. Yeah. So when they hear this man saying my name, it's like, okay, damn. Like, so nothing, I, I didn't, all I had to do was show love to him once. And he showed love for me. Into me forever, and yeah, I appreciate him for that shit. Hey, any nigga getting money, I ain't care. If I ain't feeling your shit, I ain't sharing. If you feel the shoe fit, nigga, wear it. And you boys been hanging, but I ain't worried. Bring, bring straight to you like DoorDash, and I'm still in the hood like a doorman. They say it's gonna drip, check your forecast. I been hot, I lay with a torch.